Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, oh, sorry my uh, camera here got a little jacked up. Um, in this video I am going to show you a Windows 2000 install on my SSD. Now I did do this video before. Uh, not this particular video, but a video before on what an SSD is. Uh, SSD stands for solid state device, HDD stands for hard drive device. Um, so to get started I am going to get out of here and we are going to go install Windows 2000. Yes you can install earlier versions on an SSD but the way you have to do it is you have to, uh, especially on an old machine, or even a newer machine such as these, you have to use an adapter that is able to connect the IDE line to the SATA hard drive. You have to use an adapter. If you try to install it differently, from my experience, it will not work. So, as you can see here, that we are in the setup and as you can see it's going rather quickly and I do have an adapter I just don't know where it is right now when I set it up that way I'll uh, I'll install it so the my particular setup anything under 2000 even Windows Millennium will not work properly. That is on my setup, I have to figure out why. Now here, just like a spinner, will take a little bit. Alright, so I'm going to push enter. You do have to agree to everything. So I'm going to... D, enter L, that is the same. I'm going to push enter. There is, unfortunately, at this point, there is no quick format. So I am going to have to use the long way, as they say. And as you can see, it's moving pretty quickly. The reason that is, is there's no moving parts. So that took the same amount of time as the quick format. Now if I would have used the quick format, it would have taken less than half that time.
And as usual, you're going to get the reboot sequence there. And as you can see, it is starting. Okay, so we're at the point You see how fast that's going? If this was a spinner, it would only be about here right now be right here now a few things will take a little longer Which is okay. It's still taking less than half the time of a spinner install. And there's the spring flicker. It's moving along quite nicely too.
Alright, so as usual, And it's copying all the components. Now, it, the reason it paused there is I had to spin the CD that's in the drive. Other than that, it's quick as anything. Look how fast it's installing. If this was on a thumb drive, the install, it would be really, really quick, but I'm using the CD. Uh, the CD. You will never get something like that with the spinner. Okay. So finish. I left the disc in the drive. There we go. So 2000 is starting up. It went halfway as you can see. Okay, so we are in, and that went real quick, so I'm going to cancel that for right now. Push OK. We are in. So, to give you a little demonstration here on how fast this actually is. Accessories. There we go. That would have taken a little bit on the spinner. There we go.
So let's do defragmentation. It doesn't need it because there's nothing on here. And there you go. So anyway, that is it for this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe for, no, for more notifications. Please click on the bell icon.